Hello everyone, it's me Jesse from Pick Up Bricks and today we are doing this review and tutorial of this um, old fashioned ish um, desk with a chair and a bookcase. I've already done a uh, uh, video like this for a gaming setup, link in the description below. So, um, let me just get a random minifigure. This Mandalorian criminal will work. So, the uh, chair seats a minifigure very nicely, and uh, that is a good height for the desk. The bookshelf, uh, I will say now, um, comes... I took... I, I actually followed the instructions of this, from the Lego Harry Potter uh, Diagon Alley set. Um, uh, I only made it wider. Uh, the one in the Diagon Alley set is uh, six studs wide. I made it 12 studs wide and it is quite tall. So your minifigure might need a, uh, might need a little ladder to get up there. I, uh, I actually originally built two of these. Uh, and then I also did a smaller, uh, lower version like that, but, um, we're only going to be covering this one. Uh, this one here, um, is an exact copy of this one, except the top row of books is just replaced by a shelf, um, with just a, uh, goblet and then, and a, uh, uni mask from Ninjago. So, let's just put these two aside and focus all our attention on these and the Mandalorian guy can go. So, let's start with the chair. The chair, as you can see, is made uh, out of mostly dark red. There is a um, gray plate there to hold the cushion in place. Uh, you don't have to do dark red for the chair and you don't have to do white for the cushion. You can do any color for the cushion. Um, this chair is built on a 4x4 four four, uh, plate, and um, I think it looks looks very nice. I think it could suit um, a lot of a lot of scenarios. So let's take this thing apart. So the first pieces you will need are a uh, two by four um, uh, plate like that and then a two by two plate and I am using uh, dark red as you can see let's just see if I can get a little more light in there that didn't that didn't work there we are sorry for that little uh, little delay so that is what you should have right now then a four by four uh, dark red plate and that just goes right there now you will need two of these dark gray, uh, dark red, uh, grill pieces. And they just go like that and like that. So you should have something that looks like that. Now, you take these, like that, and you make these into a little thing like that, like so. Then you have these uh, slopes, you have two of those, and they just go there, like so. Behind here, you have one of these, a uh, two by one uh, plate, and then this assembly here is very simple. It is a slope, white slope, uh, with a uh, two by one, uh, just there and a gray uh, upward uh, cheese uh, cheese uh, snot piece and that just goes there this goes across yep yeah. this goes across this goes here and here just to uh, fill those in there just one by one why are you not going in let me bring the light level down a touch. That's better. 
Now, you need two more of these, which go like that, and like that. Then, you need a two by, uh, uh, four by one uh, brick. That just goes there. And then, you take two of these uh, jumper plates, these go there. Then you have one of those, one of those, and finally one of those. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this is a um, different assembly to the original one. Yes, yes it is. So, um, I, to be brutally honest with you, about halfway through, you might have noticed, I didn't have any idea what I was doing. We got a chair, which is good. That's what we were aiming for. Uh, slightly different designer chair, and we still have these. So, I'm not exactly sure where the heck they were supposed to go. But we're just gonna make something out of these. We're gonna make art. This is Lego art with Jesse. Art. Feel the art burning within you. There. Lego art. So. Sorry, I guess. But no apologies, as Julia Child said. We got a chair. That's what we were aiming for. And whether or not these parts are in it or not, it's a chair. A many of you can see it in the chair. So let's just hope I don't mess up with the desk. Speaking of the desk, we should probably do that now. Uh, this desk is very, very, very brown with some nice colors added in. It has a um, has these two uh, little decorations on there, and one of those like green lamp things that you see in like court movies. And then a quill with a ink pot, a teapot, and a teacup. So we should disassemble this one. So, like we did with the chair, we're gonna start with a uh, two by four plate and two two by three plates right there. Next, we are going to put on two of these newer brown uh, pieces which have the two um, two studs on each one right there and then one of these is a uh, kind of ring detail thingamajiggity pieces then we are going to put a uh, one by three brick I'm actually gonna change your angle slightly Okay, we're going to be building down here from now on. <laughs> so, in this uh, gap, you're just going to put a 1x2 right there. Zoom out a bit. There we are. A 1x2 uh, brick. And then, you're going to use two jumper plates, which go here. You could put, you, you could use different colors of jumper plates. You could put, like, gold knobs on these uh, drawers. Um, that's up to you. Uh, and now we are going to build another one of these only in the opposite way. So just follow the instructions and do it, well, the opposite. I shall see you when that's done. Ha! Oh, finished. Okay, so now we have two assemblies that are the exact opposites of each other. On top of these... We are going to put two of these, but we are going to do this in the tone assembly. So, first thing you need are two, uh, two by eight brown plates. And then in the middle, you are going to put these two, two by two dark brown um, squares. Just to uh, give it a bit of a, bit of a kick. Now, on this side, you are going to put a one by eight um, dark, uh, gray, 
brown, sorry, brown uh, plate. And then on this side, you're going to put a six long and a jumper plate. Now you're going to do a one by two plate and a one by two regular plate. Sorry, tile. All of these are tiles. And then on this side, you're going to do these two. Da da. That is what it should look like. I think. I might have made another mess up. I don't know. We'll see at the end of this. Now, this uh, this is the lamp. You need one of these pieces. A green two by one plate. Put that there. And then one of these uh, robot uh, hand clip things. Put that there. You need a gold one by one with a hole in the middle. That goes there. And then this goes here. Uh, you could also, which I might actually do, is put it here. And then that can rotate around. And you could move it back to here. You could even do one in each space. One going that way and one going the other way. Um, that's up to you. And then you're going to put a teapot here. A teacup here. And then one of the newer uh, quill pieces which just fit into one of these things. I don't know if you can see that. Um, and then I know I've done something wrong, so we shall rectify that, situ that situation. Okay, even now, it's not how we originated it, but that's okay. Who cares? So, this is a wild video. So, we're going to take the two assemblies we previously made and just put one on each side. like so and we have a desk slightly different to when we disassembled it but you know what can you do the chair is also uh different the good news about the desk is we don't have any spare pieces so we did succeed on that point so really all this um all this little office setup needs is a bookcase and isn't it good that I have one? So this is a very large bookcase. On the back, it um, looks a bit mismatched, but no one ever sees the back. So let's take it apart. So let's hope I remember how to build this. You're going to need a two by eight plate, a one by eight plate, just there. And then either one, one by eight, tile or two one by four tiles. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Now, if I remember correctly, you then put a two by two and a two by four black tile. Why are not you focusing? Why aren't you focusing? All right, now you put on two one by one on each corner. And then a one by one with a stud on the side right there. Now into this, you insert one of these. These are just um, studs on the side uh, pieces that look like books with these new rounded things. Um, really, you just need to make a textured piece that looks like it belongs. And then uh, I'd recommend doing it in two parts. Um, it just makes it fit together nicer. And then you just put one, that was my mom shutting a door. Uh, ignore her. Um, so you have something that looks like that. And then on top of this, you put a one by eight. And then two, and then cover it again with black tiles. Now, this bit's a little more complicated, so pay attention, okay? Pay attention, students. You take two more of these. Um, let me just 
You take two more of these, but you put them facing out. Complicated, I know. Then, here's the really complicated bit. You take two more and put them facing inward. I know you might not understand what I'm talking about. That's okay. I completely understand. It's complicated for some people. I'm joking. It's not complicated at all. So, hashtag not complicated. So, do that. Same thing. Wait, but we have to put the books in. Don't miss out on the books. So, that is, you put that in. Now, I am not exactly sure. Ah. I knew I was going to forget to build something in here. This is like my first big tutorial, so just please forgive me. Put this one on top, and then just do the same assembly. This one doesn't need studs coming out. No studs coming out this way. There are only studs going out in the middle. Now, we put our books in, and uh, if you want more uh, particulars on how to actually make these books uh please put it in the comments and i will happily do a video for you i didn't do it in this video because i uh wanted to keep uh the uh, time down and we're already running a bit high on the top you just put another two by eight across there and now we are going to build the uh side panels and you do that by taking a one by eight like that and then just covering it with these uh, black grill pieces. You don't have to do it in black, you can do it in any color. Um, like that. And I already have an assembled one. And then you just put them right in there and they fit perfectly. Ta da! Now, I don't know if this six by one. Uh, dark gray plate came from this. I don't think it did. If it did, we're just on like a roll for cutting down on parts. Yay us. So, these are everything we built. That one has less pieces now than we did when we started. This one is a little messed up, and I don't know if that one is messing up one by six. So, yay us. Um, this looks awesome in... Uh, this would look awesome in an older style uh, of uh, office. It'd look good for Sherlock Holmes, except the guy in the Mandalorian helmet. And this would look good if you're doing a Sherlock Holmes build. It it, it really looks good anywhere, uh, to be honest. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.